Hey, this is Brick Drum, and I want to show you the new GearHead V2. Now, uh, I've just put together the new Ubis 13S fan shroud with the LEDs. And we're going to put that on this plus here. Um, and I'll show you how it mounts on the simple as well. Now, to that point, the play and the plus are the same in that this gear head actually mounts to the motor with two screws on the bottom. But if you want to put it on a simple, um, we've added these holes here, these three holes, and those bolt uh, right up from the bottom onto the simple. They're a little different uh, in their platform. So I'll zoom back and let you see uh, the difference between those two. The motor hangs off the back, so there's no, uh, there's no metal that goes in between the motor and the base. Um, but this new uh, GearHead V2 will mount from the bottom. There's three holes there, and those are little short screws. On the Plus and the Play, um, you actually have two screws here. So uh, just be mindful when you put this on. After it tightens down, it should not move at all. All right. What I want to do first is actually get this on here because the reason that this handles uh, flexible filament so nicely and is really a, an upgrade for the you know the Alu V1, Alu V2 extruder, and then even the plastic V2 um, is there's really really tight tolerances. So this is going to fit very very close. Uh, to the the base when when you get it all on there, so there is a set screw hit, hidden here, and that is going to go on like that. So before I put this on, and again I've chosen the right size screw. Um, you can't really put it on straight away in all of these bots because it's really key that you get this uh, drive gear on here first. Now I'm leaving it um, loose because the alignment is key. Now, um, let me check to make sure. Now, with some of our aluminum extruders, I'm gonna pop this off. With some of our aluminum extruders, when you put this up through the bottom, there's actually, uh, you know, it's slightly moved, so this screw, actually holds on that groove. You can even see that this is scraped a little bit from a previous install. Um, but on this particular plus, um, I noticed that when you push this up all the way to the top, that's where you want this to live. So let me tighten that down a little bit. I have to use a screwdriver. That is a pinch. Now you don't want to really crank on this. You just want to get it tight enough where it's, it's holding well, but you're not going to strip out that motor because that's aluminum and it's totally possible to strip out that motor. So it's good and tight there. I'll go ahead and uh, make sure this side's tight. Yep. All right. But this fan shroud has a groove in it to accept this. It's kind of hard to see. You can kind of see back there and see that there's a little lip. Um, so I'm just going to pop this off and pop it back on. See, now it can uh, go straight. And that's something, uh, previous fan shrouds were kind of hokey. Um, but this one is really, really great. So everything looks like it belongs, so you can move that up. There's going to be plenty of cooling there, so don't worry too much about that. Um, there's a groove cut into this pinion, and it's a little V groove that goes all the way around. You have to get that exactly. So I've, I've put this in the hole, and I'm making sure that that is in the right spot. I'll rotate this around to the flat. Looks like it's already there. And I'm going to tighten this with careful, sometimes when you tighten that little set screw, it'll walk uh, the drive gear back and forth a little bit because it's spinning on that, on that shaft. So I'm going to look straight down and make sure that, that the bottom of that V groove is completely lined up with where the filament will go in. If you have this too far forward or back, it's going to either scrape on the front of this base or it's gonna scrape on uh, this little piece here. So you gotta get that exactly right. So take your time and you wanna make sure everything's tight 
uh, because if you've got this base not all the way tight, maybe it's going to be in a different location. So the big change between the V2 gearhead and the V1 is there's no set screw. Um, it was somewhat easy to set the wrong uh, tension, and we found out that you can actually just drill. Well, we've added a, a deeper hole here. We drilled this down so the tension is perfect when you have filament in there, whether it's uh, you know flexible or PLA or ABS or whatever. So um, it'll work great uh, with the two drive gears locked together. Uh, you'll have you'll have a great tension there. So we remove that, and uh, you can see it cleans up the top. And we've had to add. Um, a little bit so you can look at the base and see the difference now uh, one other note um, I've got Delrin here um, but we're actually uh, getting some I saw in some cases if a user now we do it right but if a user is putting this on and over tightens this Delrin um, it can create some problems so with just alignment just a, a hair off so we're getting these made in aluminum so you may have an aluminum uh, little spacer there don't worry about it on the plus this happens to be a 25 millimeter screw m3 screw and it has a little washer so that's all I need and I will say that this is a little bit finicky to get on so I'll just show you my method um, first of all first of all I'll seat the gears pull the screw back so it's flat on the back and then I'll make sure that that is seating and now the spring is seated and everything is there and you can kind of rock it back and forth now you have to compress the spring and then you fight with it alright so here we go okay it's got purchase there so Again, do not over tighten. You're looking for this to be firm against the, the metal. But I like to say finger tight. And now, yeah, it's very rigid. So there you go. There's your new uh, V2 installed on a plus. I'll tend to my wiring, uh, making sure that everything is um, either taped or put some heat shrink on there. Um, so that nothing is going to come loose and I'll make sure there's plenty of room uh, when I stretch my wires over here you can tell I, I'll need to pull some of these uh, but I want to make sure that nothing's too tight so that's nice and loose when this is all the way over here and since we've had to fool around with the uh, the wiring you want to also bring it all the way to the top um, bring the carriage all the way to the top and make sure you have enough um, flex back here with the, the wire and the braided cable going down the bottom.